What is going on guys? My name is Roberto Diaz. Today we're going to be going over my church workflow for highlight videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, it's a different type of video. It's probably going to be a bit longer than usual, but um, hopefully you guys get something out of this. So uh, here we have pulled up a um, Final Cut Pro um, session. I mean, uh, project file or whatever you like to call it. So this is a highlight video that I did for um, an event for my church. So um, so as you can see, it's shot as a square, but I mean, it doesn't matter. You could apply whatever I'm showing you guys to any type of video format. Excuse my fans on my laptop. They're kind of going crazy. I'll play you guys a highlight video so you can check it out. It was So I kind of want to just break down what I did. So as you can see, there's a lot of clips here and, and the actual amount of footage that I got is this much. So we see here, this is probably over an hour and a half of footage and I condensed it down to one minute. So it depends on the type of actual, uh, videos you do or the type of work you want or how long you want it usually i try to keep highlight videos within a minute or two and if you find yourself going over that <laughs> i would suggest to kind of keep it under a minute or two just because if you're doing these videos for churches i know you guys when you're first starting off you're going to want to throw everything on your video you're going to want to throw every single um thing you captured but to be honest it's important to know when to not put certain things or when to know to not to know basically to not have everything that you recorded and i know it's hard um because you want to literally throw everything that you got all your precious work all the footage you were there hours and it's so easy just to throw things so my cutting style is quick so it's boom 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 and also it's it's going to the beat of the song so it's kind of flowing you know with the music and that's something i recommend i can't play the song because I would get copyrighted, but, um, so yeah, if that was a song, it would, it would sound like that in there. So you would basically cut to the music and I want to, I want to show you guys in. So let's zoom in here. So all these clips, they were shot at 1080. So, um, so all these clips were shot 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you guys don't have the best um, camera that doesn't shoot 120 frames per second, you don't need that. You don't need to worry about buying this expensive the cameras. And if you do need a camera that shoots higher frame rates, you can get a GH5, GH4, you know. But I shoot in 60p, I mean 60 frames per second. And for me, to be fair, to be honest, it's been fine for me. Um, so I'll show you guys legit this clip in the in the beginning here so i believe this is a clip i use so it's literally me holding this is shot on the gh5 by the way me holding the gh5 and literally turning and this is what i got so i i basically broke it down it does a weird thing where if i have it on proxy you can't really um see the the stabilizer so on here i have an uh have a stabilization on but um basically we're just breaking down files boom boom footage back to back we're not 
we're not leaving the viewers attention too much on something because the thing is when you're doing church highlight videos you want to keep their attention you don't want them to stay on something like oh, okay and then just stay bored you know and that's like one of my biggest tips like you got to keep it going don't stay stuck on something like keep it going you don't need that much time to convey a message a lot of times we need we think that we need to show clips for for 30 minutes just to show off like what's going on so for example there was like a food bar here like you don't need to show every single plate as long as you get you know the salsa the the whatever that's called the the, the meat literally i showed there was a food bar in what was that like three seconds one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi right same thing with the dj you don't need to show the dj for 30 minutes as long as you can see the little wiki 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 you can see his little dj program he's dancing that's all you need you don't need to um leave clips on for too long so we see there and okay so now we're kind of showing emotion that's a, another thing that if you don't record people in your church highlight videos your your videos will be dead your videos will be boring and you're literally just going to have musicians singing so a lot of times we just try to record musicians but a big important thing of when you're shooting events you need to capture people's emotions so that's something that it, it took me a long time to kind of understand that i would just shoot musicians back to back and i'm kind of just showing musicians here and, and, and people but but you need that that touch of people you know they're there too so i, I believe it's a uh, two thing, two people thing where to build the actual video if you don't if you just have the musicians or the pastor preaching and you don't show the people it's an empty video you don't convey the entire message of everything that was happening here we had had over 800 people if we don't have a clip showing that there was people you know how are how are people going to know that there was actually people there so it's important to to try to think as it as a puzzle piece um so something that i like to do is I break it down from the front back. So I capture musicians, I capture B-roll of every single musician, every single singer, every single thing going on from the front back. And then I literally just start going backwards and then I just go up again and capture back again. And that way I just get a lot more footage. And obviously, um, like I was saying, we need that special touch of people, emotions, like little shots like this in between. So, you know, closing your eyes, worshiping, praising, hands up in the air, showing people, emotion, clapping, quick, these, these are quick shots. This video was in one minute in a quick little ending. So I think a lot of times we, we overcomplicate it where we want to show so much in the video that we just leave clips for too long and and, and a lot of times we, we want to show our work, like I was saying, we want to show off the, the amazing footage we captured, but you can't. So I want to show you guys kind of like how I would start kind of breaking down this footage. So let's say if I just deleted this entire thing and just started off fresh. So a quick little tip for you guys is grab all your footage. How do you grab my footage? All right. All right. Let's grab the footage here. Come on. Okay, this thing's tripping. So let's grab all the footage. I forgot how to highlight now or what? Okay, here we go. So let's get all the footage, everything you recorded, every single thing. Everything you recorded. No, nothing extra, just. So all your footage, bang. 280, 292 clips. My computer's about to blow up, you know, transferring this over. So we just dropped it in the timeline. We have, okay, over an hour and 17 minutes of footage. So how do you break this down? How do you start editing this? You're probably thinking, Roberto, this is too long. How is this even possible for me to edit? Literally the video, the, the timeline you saw with being one minute, this is what it was. And this is one of the fastest workflows that I've discovered. So literally what I'll do is I'll look at things that make sense. So I'll start deleting things that I think I start. I'll start deleting things that I think won't convey the message. So this boom, I, I start highlighting things that I need. So I like the little intro boop. 
and I'll click B on my keyboard and that'll open the cut tool. So I'll start cutting and I'll start deleting and cutting, deleting. So I'm literally just scrolling with, with uh, the blade tool with certain things that I like or don't like. So that clip, the entire clip, I really don't like it. Um, this clip, I already know I won't like it. So I'm just kind of breaking down certain things with the B tool. So the cool thing about when, when you're on the blade tool and you press B on your keyboard, I just hit my head on the, okay. Um, it lets you scroll through the footage. So that's, it break, it makes it extremely faster to be editing. So I already know I don't like any of this. So next random flowers, eh, don't like them. Okay. So just going through the things, random little ducky. We don't really need that duck. Eh, I, you know, but the, the important thing is when you're there, you need to capture as much footage as you can. Okay. The shirt's doing a little movement. That looks cool. I'll cut that right here. Boop. On to the next. So you see, it's quick. You don't you don't need to overthink it, and you can scroll through, scrub, eh, don't like that. And we're basically just scrolling through. Okay, I like that. We're gonna start from here, and a cool little thing. So I look at my, so I'm I'm scrubbing through with my um, my trackpad, and I'm seeing where I'm gonna start and where I'm gonna end. So I like that little motion there. So I'm gonna stop here. Boop, blade. Uh, I mean with the blade tool, do a little cut and I'll delete the thing before because this is the piece that I wanted. So we'll just delete the end. Same little thing here, go on your blade tool. And so I like that little motion there. So I like it starting from here, ending over here. So we're gonna delete everything before and after. So this creates an extremely fast workflow. Now this hoodie, so same thing. We're gonna go on our blade tool. And I like the little motion there. So starting here, ending there. So we're gonna delete what's right before it and what's right after it. And um, we can do the same thing. So same thing with all, with all these clips. And so we can even go over here cause I wanna show you guys a little bit of, of actually cutting footage with um, artists or singers or, or just a live church setup. Um, something that I look for is emotion, um, hands, uh, feelings, people crying, people moving, worship leaders dancing. That's the kind of thing you want in your footage. You don't want to just have them singing and with no emotion. Try to look, if there's nothing that you can't, if literally there's nothing you can find, like try to find a, a spot. They lift up their hands, any little thing that you could use. So thankfully, um, see, this is a lot of footage. So <laughs> let me keep scrolling through so I can show you guys. Okay. So here we go. So here we see this little thing where she's, uh, putting her hands up. So I want to start it up from here, blade tool ending there. Cool. So we got that. And then there's a little part here. She's like smiling. She's like happy. So we want to capture that. All right. And now we have a part of here, the drummer. So we see emotion, smiling, happiness. We want to capture that. Start here. And where did it start? That was like a little bit. Okay. Maybe starting here, ending here. So we'll delete everything before and after. Obviously you want to scroll through your, you want to scrub through your footage a little bit slower and kind of just get an idea of what you have first. And I would recommend viewing everything. So just to show you guys a little bit of what we got is and we obviously didn't cut that. So here we can probably get some of this, the little, all right. So we'll start here and we'll end here. That was like a little transition I did on camera. And, um, so here we go. And, uh, let's see here. So obviously you're not going to like everything you do, like everything you shoot. So you could be deleting a lot. And here I shot some stuff in 24 frames per second. Cause, um, I wanted to also get some footage in real time in case, you know, there was people jumping, moving, singing, screaming, you don't always want to slow everything down. So I recommend don't just shoot everything in 60 frames per second. Try to also get um, some stuff in 24 and mix around just so you can mix it up. Um, it depends for the vibe you're going, uh, you're trying to go for. If you're trying to go for a more, you know, subtle, slow, um, 
slow vibe or if you're going for something more um upbeat crazy so let's get those clips i i cut from the all the way in the middle and we're gonna bring them all the way back here so let's try to find a way to put them over here all right so this is obviously super simplified so let's see what we got that was extra so you see obviously you can go way further and and just you know make it crazier and something extra little thing you want to convey a story to when you're doing these highlight videos so i always start from beginning to end so i always start with an opening shot you can either do that with a drone um, establishing the place when it's empty just to capture the the place and where it's at you always want to build a, a foundation or kind of just build a uh this this kind of thing where where am i you know when people start watching a video where where are they so it's important to start off with a little opening shot of something and then you can you know like i was getting here their merge and then from there you could start getting um singers musicians and um after that you can mix in footage with people worshiping people singing people crying and that just conveys a way better message than an empty video with nothing so guys i hope this long video was useful I usually don't try to do these long videos, but um, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, please let me know too, because I'll stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't stop. You can't stop me. Ow. This thing keeps hitting my... But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Roberto Diaz. God bless you guys. You guys like how I said God bless, huh? I know you did.